Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a year-long makeup empties. I'm not sure why I'm clapping, but I'm so excited. I did see a few people do year-long makeup empties last year, and I was like super intrigued on how much makeup somebody can use up in a year. So I wanted to put myself to that test. Not really that test, but I wanted to save my year-long makeup empties to be able to share my empties with you guys. So if you want to see how much makeup and everything I have used up, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. I have so much makeup. Look, this is like a big little basket here. A big little basket. Um... So I'm going to dump everything out. And I did decide to count lashes because I do wear them pretty consistently. And that is everything I used up this year. Wow, right? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put everything in sections corresponding sections and then we will calculate everything i have finished off this year so i did finish off one eyeshadow primer this is the lorac behind the scenes eye primer this was in my year-long project pan last year and again i did finish this off and the only eye primer i finished and this retails for 23 dollars this here is the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Smoldering Satin. This was also in a project pen that I used up as much as I could. I think I took out the stopper a little sooner than I should have, but finished up as much as I could. So this retails for $8.33. Next up is brow pencils, brow products. Um, I did use up 10 products. Um, I am giving you guys retail values of everything. Doesn't necessarily mean that's how much I paid for it. But if you wanted to pick it up when it wasn't on sale, that is the price. The retail value of everything I've used up is what I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So this first product is the ABH Brow Wiz in Chocolate. I do like the formula on this. The shade doesn't work very well for me. I do have a few backups of this in my backup drawer. So I won't be repurchasing this anytime soon. Um, next up is this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. I do like it, and I think I do have a backup of this as well. Um, Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in Brunette. I do like the formula on this. I don't like the color on it. I would repurchase this, but I would get a deeper shade. This is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. I do like this brow pencil, but it's very waxy, so it doesn't last very long. It lasts about a couple weeks to two to three weeks. And I feel like you don't really get your money's worth. Like, it doesn't last that long. So you get the same amount of products that are on these with this one. This is an affordable one, but it's actually nice. It just doesn't last that long because it's, it's waxy. Next up is this ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil. This is in dark brown. I do like this, but it's not a favorite. I wouldn't repurchase this right away. This one's actually my favorite brow pencil from the drugstore. This is by CoverGirl. Um, this is the Ultimate Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Rich Brown. I really like it. It's one of my favorites. I would definitely repurchase that. This one's also nice. This is by L'Oreal. This is the Brow Styler Definer in the shade probably Dark Brown or Brunette. It's in Brunette. I really like that one as well. I would repurchase that. And then I have three brow mascaras. The first one is by NYX. This is the Tinted Brow Mascara in Espresso, I believe. The shade is a little off for me, but I did like it. Next up is this Ensign. Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. Not sure. This is in Brownie Brows. Worked pretty well as well. And I would repurchase that. And I actually really liked this one by Benefit. This is the Gimme Brow. This is in the shade number 5. I really like this a lot. I have a couple of these in my backup drawer that I picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty Steals. Again, um, giving you retail value of everything. Brows I finished off. Retail wise was $87.96. For powders, I used up seven powders. Looks like mostly drugstore, which is nice. I used up three loose powders and four pressed powders. So the first powder I finished off was this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Really like this powder. It just gives like a really smooth finish, really sets your liquid foundation. It doesn't give you a ton of coverage, but it does make your skin look really nice. Next up is the Sephora 
Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. I have mine in the shade Warm Beige. This was really nice as well. I really enjoyed it. It had really good coverage. I didn't like it over liquid foundation much because I did find that it looked a little cakey, but by itself, it's nice. This is the NYX Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. I finished this off just using it on my under eyes. I really like how brightening my under eyes looks, so I did finish that off. Next up is this CoverGirl Outlast All Day. Matte Finishing Powder. Really enjoy this as well. This one has more coverage compared to the Maybelline one. I really like both of them. I finished both of them off in my project pan last year. Next up, I have this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 10 Fairlight. Love this powder. I would definitely repurchase this. It's so, so nice. Makes your skin look airbrushed. Definitely would repurchase that. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This had a really nice cooling sensation sensation cooling like effect when you were applying it um but it doesn't last very long so i got this from boxycharm i didn't actually buy this but i'm still giving you guys some a retail value for this and next lastly is this nyc smooth skin loose face powder also in a project pan that i finished off last year as you can see it's empty there so finishing off seven powders Retail value was $105.32. I only have two bronzing type of products. Um, the first one is this Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I really like this. This was also in a project pan. Um, finished it off all the way. As you can see, I'm just going down. So finished this product up. And I forgot to mention Meanies. I'm counting them as $5. I didn't want to do the whole go to the site, get how much price it is, divided by the grams. I'm like five bucks even. Maybe next year I will do like really crunch down the numbers. But this year, any Meanies, I, I count it as $5. So I also used up this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. This was really nice. I love the contouring shade. And the other side actually had like a under eye powder. Really enjoyed this. I already have another one of these. And I finished two. I counted this as a bronzer just because it had a bronzer side but also had a powder side. But for both of those, retail value finished up was $10.49. Here is my setting spray, setting spray slash hydrating sprays. I finished off eight full sizes, one deluxe size, and three minis. So I have three wet and wild ones right here. This one's the Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. I really like this. I would repurchase that. This is the Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. And I did like it as well. I mostly used it to set my face. I never really used it to prime the face, but... I, I did like the scent of that. This one is the Matte Finish Setting Spray. I did notice a difference between this and this one. This one's a little more mattifying. I felt um, it, was, it wasn't bad. I think I would repurchase it. This one is the MAC Charged Water. I did like this to kind of add more hydration to my skin and also kind of melt powders on. Um, I did like it. I, I don't think I'd... They don't actually don't sell this anymore, so I can't repurchase that. The MAC Fix Plus, I do like. I like for it to like melt the powder on my skin, but I don't feel like it makes my makeup long-lasting. I already have one of these in my back drawer as well, so won't be repurchasing that anytime soon. Next up, I have this Pacifica Rose Flower Hydro Mist Spray. I also use this for hydration and also melting powders onto the face. I don't really like the scent of this, so I won't repurchase. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water. I do like the scent of this. I do have a regular backup of this. So I, this was a limited edition um, scent, so I won't be repurchasing that. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water Spray. I did like it. I did find that it does make my skin a little tucky for prepping for foundation. Um, I would repurchase it, but I'm not going to, like, run for it. I do find that regular primers do the job for me. And then over here, I have the Urban Decay Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. It's also a primer spray. I do have a full size of this in my backup drawer, so I have a full size to use up. And then down here, I have two of the Scandinavia The Makeup Finishing Sprays that I got for free. Also, we'll be counting these as $5. But um, I mostly use these three when I freelance because I don't like to kind of touch people's faces you know I don't know I just want to be more like hygienic so this is a finishing spray I do like it makes their like makeup long lasting and then uh, this is the makeup primer spray um 
which is really nice to prime their face since I do use airbrush on when I do freelance. Um, so this is nice to kind of prep their skin to prime their face um, before foundation. So total retail value for these are $147.96. Next category are lipsticks and lip balms. Um, I don't use lipstick every single day. A lot of the time I go to work bare lips. Um, but I, I do try to use my lipsticks when I can. <laughs> so here I have um, five lipsticks and then two lip balms. And this is also kind of like a lip balm, but it has some color to it. So I didn't save up all of my lip balms that I finished this year because I was throwing a lot of them away until I decided to start saving them. So hopefully next year I have more balms because again, I don't use lipstick every day and I do hydrate my lips every day, day and night. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the NARS Satin Lips Pencil in Rikujin. Finished this baby up. It was like a deluxe size and really like the shade of it. It's really pretty, satin, beautiful, everyday, nudie rosy nude type of colors you can see those are like my kind of shades i like to, to use next up is this color whisper by maybelline also finished this off this is really pretty on the lips i do like that i don't think i would repurchase lipsticks because i have a lot of them so i'm just trying to use up what i have if i come across something that i want to try then i'll buy it but it's not like i'm going to repurchase something um next up is this nyx butter lipstick in the shade pops also finished off so I have a, another one of this, actually. Um, this is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream in the shade Thoughtful. This was in Project Pan la last year and the year before and finally finished this off. Um, I really like the color. Again, I'm really into like pinky nude shades for everyday use. And then this is the old packaging from Ofra. This is the long lasting liquid lipstick, I believe, in the shade Mocha. This was like a go-to of mine for the longest time. Really like that. And I think I have another one of those. I finished off two Aqua 4 Immediate Relief Lip Repair Treatments. Really like these. Very hydrating. And then lastly, I finished off this Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy in the shade Rose, I believe. Really like this. Very nice and hydrating. Also has a tint. So it's really nice. And retail value for that is $87.47. So here I have concealer usage for you guys. I finished off two, four, six, eight, nine concealers this year. Crazy. Um, of course, these weren't all like full, you know. I've been using them with time and finally finished off this year. I don't think I go through nine concealers. I'm going to definitely write everything down and compare for next year to see like the difference in usage. But the first one I finished off is this Beach Cosmetics. Um, total coverage concealer my foot is falling asleep you guys this has really good coverage but it does look super heavy on the under eyes for me i feel so a little bit goes a long way if you don't need that much coverage and you want like a full coverage concealer i would recommend this but i won't be picking that up anytime soon um this is the hard candy sheer envy eye brightening concealer oh this is a corrector i decided to put my correctors in here in the concealer category um i i did like it i thought it worked pretty well i do have other correctors in my collection so i won't repurchase that anytime soon next up is this tarte shape tape i have mine in the shade light medium i love this concealer really good coverage definitely have another one in my collection already um, this is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. So I find this that doesn't have super good coverage when I'm just like applying and blending out. But if I let it sit on my under eyes, I feel like the coverage is pretty good. So I don't know if I would run to pick this up. But if it was like on sale or somebody gifted it to me, I would use it up. I have two of the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. I have the shade Light Neutral 15 and Medium 30. Me um, the Light Neutral one was definitely too light and the other one was too dark. So I did use Used both of these mixing them together I do like these and I do have one of these in my <clears throat> concealer drawer and I also have like two more in my backup drawer which I need to go through ASAP um, next up is this conceal and define full coverage conceal and contour concealer I have mine in the shade c6 I think I like this. I, I finished this off a long time ago. I think it has pretty good coverage as well. And I do already have another one of these in my concealer drawer. Uh, this is the Kat Von D Locket 
concealer i don't know what shade this is because i got this for free again i am counting this as five dollars because it's a mini um i use this to pretty much correct dark circles i didn't do a great job on that but it finished i finished it off that way <laughs> and then lastly this is the tarte cc under eye corrector in light medium again finished off and i think it did a pretty good job i think if i repurchased this i would buy the one darker because i didn't think it did a great job to conceal dark circles but it did pretty well so retail value for my concealers is 93 dollars and 99 cents so these are my mascara usage i've used up a ton of them and i just found this lipstick by kat von d that was supposed to go in my lipstick part so i'll have to i'm pretty sure i added this to that thing i'm think let's see one two three four five six seven eight oh maybe not i'll have to add this but my lip balm my lipstick um usage will go up five dollars because again i'll count this as five bucks but i forgot to add this to my lipstick i had it under mascara so i'll have to add five dollars to my end result because of this so again, I did use up all of these mascaras. Um, I don't get rid of my mascaras every three months like you should. I have so many of them to finish off in three months that they just last me longer. And then I, I also do freelance. So I do use some of these mascaras when I freelance. I don't freelance like a lot, a lot. I haven't freelanced since a wedding that was in September. So it's been a few months. Again, I don't freelance that much i do probably do like about seven girls but it's not enough to finish off a mascara you know what i mean so um they do help me out a little but anyways i finished off all of these mascaras this first one is the peacock covergirl peacock flare I, I don't really like this i wouldn't repurchase this is the tart tardiest um mascara it's okay not a favorite but it did the job this is the benefit roller lash mascara um I didn't like it at first, but at the end when it was like kind of drying up, I did enjoy it. I do have another one of these already. Benefit did send it to me. Um, next up is this Milani Highly Rated Mascara. I didn't really like the wand on this, so I won't repurchase that. This one is the Catrice Glam and Doll Mascara. I don't really like this mascara. I don't like the wand. It's a plastic wand. I don't think it did very much for my lashes so I wouldn't repurchase that this one I have backups of and is my favorite mascara this is the essence lash princess false lash effect mascara love it definitely repurchasing that this is the covergirl total tease mascara don't really like it won't repurchase that this is the covergirl lash blast volume mascara I got this from Marshalls and I felt like it didn't last very long I don't know so I do like that one. I didn't like this one. I also got this from like Ross or Marshalls. This is the Revlon Ultra Volume Mascara. The brush is pretty big on here. I didn't really like the formula, so won't repurchase that. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I do like this one. I would repurchase it. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Mascara. I used to love this years ago. And then when I tried to use it again, it wasn't like a favorite of mine anymore. So I wouldn't repurchase that. Lastly, from the full sizes is this Wonder Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I got this from BoxyCharm. I feel like this was more on the dry side and you didn't get very much product in the in here in a tube. I don't know. Again, I got it from BoxyCharm. It's okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. And then down here, Meanies, I have this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Really like this. I actually have a full size of that in my backup drawer. Um, Caution Extreme Lash Mascara by Hourglass. It's okay. I did like it, but I found that it was kind of hard to use it because of the wand. And then, like, it was just, the packaging was kind of bulky and how short the wand was to use. So, um, it's okay. I wouldn't buy Next up is this Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. It did okay job. Not gonna repurchase, not gonna purchase a full size. This is the Benefit Bag gal bang mascara i think it did a pretty good job again i did get a box from ipsy times benefit and they did send over a full size of this and a roller lash and another one too i believe i think the real ones so i have those to use up 
Next up is this um, Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. Coworker actually gave this to me. I did like it. I like the fact that it wasn't super hard to take off either because it's a tubing mascara. I don't think I would purchase a full size of it. So, so total retail value for mascaras was $178.92. Again, I did count my mini mascaras as $5. I'm sure these would have gone up more if I actually did like actual actual calculations but i'm okay with counting them as five dollars for now next up is lashes and lash glue i did tally them separately but i did finish off two of the house of lashes lash glue these aren't my favorite i feel like they get in my lashes really badly and i have a lot of lash glue on my lashes so i won't be repurchasing those and then this one worked pretty well this is even lower lashes eyelash glue i do like it um total retail value for lash glue is 42 dollars and then lashes i decided to also include in here because i do wear lashes pretty much every week not every single day but i do use them pretty consistently and i only have three to share with you guys the first one is this eyelore times vegas nay platinum princess i really like these as you can see i pretty much ripped the end I do that sometimes when they're getting older and they have a lot of lash glue on the band and when I'm just trying to pinch it off I end up ripping the lash I do have another one of these in my backup drawer next up is this Tati lashes in TL10 really like these these were gifted to me by my friend Naya um, I ended up doing the same thing where I ripped the end off so I cut them and had them like half lashes but then they just didn't look the same on the eye, so I decided to go ahead and get rid of these. And I also have another pair of those. And then these are the House of Lashes in Iconic, as you can see what happened to that. So total retail value for those three lashes are $37.99. So this is my liner usage. Um, I did finish off 14 eyeliners. I did finish off three of these like cold type of pencils. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the shade 0. I can't sharpen this anymore because this bottom thing twists. So I'm counting it as a done. I do like that. Would repurchase those. Also finished off my The Balm Mr. Right Now. So I have a black and a brown. Finished these off as well. Do like these as well. But I have... A lot of liners in my collection that I won't be repurchasing like coal liners anytime soon. This is the Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black Vinyl. I don't like the tip of this so I won't be repurchasing that. This is the Ulta Beauty Classic Felt Tip Eyeliner. I do like this a lot. Would repurchase this. I would definitely repurchase. This is the Balm Schwing Liquid Liner. Really nice opaque and black would definitely again repurchase that this is a brown felt tip liner by sephora the craig and carl collection it was just a brown felt tip i did enjoy that i don't purchase a lot of br brown felt tip liners but i do have a couple in my collection next up is this nyx matte liquid liner this has like a brush applicator wand i don't really like it as you can see it's so clumpy but i don't like the wand on that so i won't repurchase this i actually like the nyx epic ink liner better than this so I've repurchased the Epic Ink Liner. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in black. I do like this. Would repurchase. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Eyeliner. I do like it. The tip is really like precise and really nice. Um, it's not super opaque though. So I would repurchase. It's not bad. This is the Pixie Lash Line Ink. Um, this didn't last. It probably still has products. But I found that every time I applied liner over my eyeshadow it kind of coated the tip and then it wouldn't be very opaque so i just decided to declutter this because most of the time i do use eyeshadow so if it's not going to work out why keep it um and i wouldn't purchase that um this is the hard candy stroke of gorgeous felt tip eyeliner it's a gray one had this forever and then when i tried to use it just didn't go strong anymore so i wouldn't repurchase that i don't need a gray liner I have this kat von d trooper liquid liner i do have a full size that was sent to me by influencers so i have that to use and then this fenty beauty fly liner i do like i would purchase a full size of this this is just a mini um so overall retail value for eyeliners are 156 dollars and 48 cents for face primers i used up six uh, first one i used up is this kat von d locket hydrating primer i did like this a lot i don't think i would repurchase this just because i have a lot of primers in my collection i've repurchased this multiple times but again i do want to use up other primers in my collection before repurchasing this this is the stila one step correct 
Um, it was kind of like swirls. It was nice and very hydrating. Um, I would repurchase that. This is the Benefit Professional. I do like this. Again, I did get one of these in that Ipsy Times Benefit box I got sent. So I do have one of those to use. Um, this is a mini or a deluxe size of the Too Faced Hangover RX. I really like this. Very hydrating. I do have a full size. <laughs> Uh, next up is this Becca Burst Light Priming Filter. I really like this a lot. It gives a really nice, like, luminous, not super luminous finish to the skin, but it looks, it makes your foundation look really nice. I do like that, and I did pick up a full size during the 21 Days of Beauty steals. You guys, I have, like, backups of everything. Good thing I'm going on a low buy this year. Uh, next up is the Smashbox Photo Finish foundation primer in light i really like this a lot it was older in my collection so i did find that it kind of broke me out a lot but overall i did enjoy it so overall retail value for primers is 154 dollars here is my foundation usage for the year only finished off four so hoping at least next year i can do four or five i did finish off two high end and two drugstore first off is this lancome tint Edo ultra 24 hour makeup i really like this foundation looks really nice your skin but better very beautiful foundation also really enjoyed this makeup forever matte velvet plus this is the old packaging um they do have a new packaging already i would like to purchase the full size but definitely want to use up more foundations before buying more next up i have this covergirl clean matte bb cream it, i have it has really good coverage so i considered it as kind of a foundation i really like this i would repurchase it but not right now and then the nyx total control drop foundation really really enjoyed as well so I would repurchase this, but again, I do want to use up more foundations in my collection. I want to kind of use up like two foundations before I purchase one, you know, so I don't like use up one foundation and then bring in another one, which I'm trying to be different in buying my purchases for this year. Again, I am going to go on a low buy, so hopefully I do super well on that and kind of control my spending as well. Um, for foundation usage, I used up $108.99. My sponges when I'm using them, but um, did use this. I do like the um, I, I do like this sponge, so I would repurchase that. And then this one is by Real Techniques. I actually got this in a set of 30, I believe. When in 2018 they came out with that big jumbo set. And I found mine at Marshall's for like $20. So I picked it up, but I do find like the formulas, the formula or like the material is different to like the single ones. I'm thinking they're maybe different. I feel like brands need to use different materials slash formulas to be able to sell in bulk maybe. I don't know, but I didn't really like this one. That was part of that big like 20, 25 bulk sponges that i had bought in so i wouldn't repurchase the big bulk one because i still have a whole bunch of those so retail value for those two i did count it as an individual sponge um is ten dollars and 98 cents so here is an overview of everything i used up so crazy right i almost was gonna be done but i need to tell you guys total retail value of everything i used up so again here is everything i have used up so total retail value of everything I used up is $1,258.88. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much makeup I used up this year. It's so crazy. So I'm definitely going to save up my makeup empties for next year. Really intrigued to see what the difference is. Is it more? Is it less? You know, I am going on a low buy. I kind of mentioned it throughout the video. Going on a low buy, so definitely trying to use what I have and not just keep bringing products in. Very excited for that. I'm super excited to see what I use up next year. So if you have a yearly makeup empties, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.